What's up you guys? Depending on where in the world you are right now, nature photography is still something that you might be able to do. If you don't know who I am, my name is Nicole Glass. I'm a photographer based in the Washington DC area. And right now I am outside in a park photographing squirrels, birds, everything except humans. But I do have to say that just going out here and being with the blue jays and the squirrels and all the birds that I can identify is really lifting my spirits. So nature photography, I mean, it's not my expertise, but it's something I just like to do for fun. And one thing that's really important for that is patience. And I have nowhere to be, nowhere to go. I have lots of time right now because it's, you know, it's a Saturday, there's nothing open on, on Saturday. And I can sit here with the squirrels for a long time. one of these. Oh, you like that better. Look at all my new friends. nut he's gonna be all disappointed now when there's no more I mean all I have are apples and you don't want them so bye so I hope you enjoyed that b-roll from my squirrel encounters so other than nature photography this is what else I'll be doing in the next coming weeks or however long this pandemic will last. Number one, time lapses. I am definitely going to work on becoming better at creating time lapses. And I actually have a balcony, which uh, I feel really lucky to have right now. And, you know, I plan to just like do a whole bunch of time lapses of, you know, different weather conditions, different times of the day, you know, create some beautiful time lapse videos from up there. So that's one thing you can do, you know, whether or not you have a balcony, it's something you can do in your own backyard too, or of yourself cleaning or something. I, I don't know, whatever you want. Two, product photography. I think a lot of people are talking about this because product photography is probably the easiest and safest type of photography you can do right now. It's something you can do without leaving the comfort of your home. And honestly, it can be a lot of fun. I recently bought myself uh, some colorful lights and I'm having a lot of fun just like lighting up different objects and playing around with it and you know creating some backlight scenarios. Three, as I already said, nature photography is a good one if you're in a place where there is nature and where you can safely go into nature. This is not for everyone, probably not for like New Yorkers right now, but if you live in like rural, I don't know, Kansas, like I feel like that's something you could probably work on. Four, macro photography. So I have a macro lens and I have to be honest, I have not used it very much. I have a couple of other macro photography accessories that I have barely used. So I'm definitely going to be working on some insect photography and macro photography with the insects that land on my balcony. So uh, we'll see, we'll see if there are any. Usually there's a few. By the way, I realize I totally cropped my video too much. Uh, I actually wore the perfect shirt for this video today. The perfect social distancing shirt. The shirt to match the times. I found this in my closet and I was like, this should be my uniform for the next couple of videos. So how are you guys feeling lately? Are you feeling inspired or are you feeling drained? I think there's a little bit of both going on with everybody right now, which is completely understandable. So these times are hard for a lot of people right now and a couple of my friends do have businesses and are struggling a little bit. And I know this is a photography channel, but if you guys are interested in you know, supporting a dance studio, a studio that has awesome online classes, or some of the local restaurants in this area, then definitely check out my description below. I've included some links for you know, some of my friends who could really use a little bit of extra support. Hope everyone is doing well. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe.